and uh, for that I invite uh, uh, Dr. Maithili, who is uh, well known to all of us, and uh, who is a uh, who like former professor of endocrinology from Andhra Medical College, uh, Vishakhapatnam, and. Uh, she does some social uh, activities. Uh, she is a founder secretary of the Diabetic Child Society, Vishakhapatnam, an NGO which supports the needy children with type 1 diabetes. Uh, and um, she is currently the chairman of APRSSDI 2023. She delivered uh, Professor Sam G.P. Moses oration at RSSDI 2022. And uh, she is a national faculty in Endocrine and Diabetes Conferences of India. And uh, she has many like uh, publications to her credit. and. Uh, She's a consultant endocrinologist, uh, endocrinologist at Vish Vishakhapatnam. Over to you, madam, and to speak on evidence to practice clinical perspective of diabetes management with new generation insulins. Thank you, Dr. Nilavani, for the kind introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. My talk is going to be very simple, a familiar topic to all of us, and I'm assured you will make it as short as possible. So the talk is on Degludec, an ultra-long-acting insulin, and its co-formulation. Now the first question is, do we need an ultra-long-acting insulin? The answer is definitely yes. The reason is we need an ideal basal insulin. What is an ideal basal insulin? It is one which should have a 24-hour coverage of, it should mimic the physiological basal insulin secretion. It should have a 24-hour coverage. It should not have any peaks and troughs like the physiological basal insulin secretion. It should have a flat, smooth profile. So, so that is, we need an ideal basal insulin. So today, what I'll be discussing is the evidence about Degludic as an ideal basal insulin and its co-formulation in the next 15 minutes. So to start with, this is Degludec. The structure is of a human insulin showing the A chain and the B chain. 21 amino acids at the A chain, then 30 amino acids at the B chain. And if you can see, the 30th amino acid is removed. And at the place 29, a glutamyl link is attached to the lysine B29. And that is linked to a hexadecanoic fatty acid. So this particular formulation made its action prolonged. So attachment to the fatty acid prolonged the action of this insulin. Now if you look at the three-dimensional structure of Degludec, now it is the ultra long acting is because of this particular three-dimensional structure. When injected, it is a dihexamer. So that is you have two dihexamers together. And there are two important components in this. One is the phenol and the second is the zinc. So when phenol is depleted after injection, this becomes multi-hexamer chain formation. And then once zinc is also depleted, it becomes dimers and then it becomes monomers. So this is how, you know, the action is so protracted that is because of this slow dissociation of the molecule. So the first message is the unique structure of degludic made it close to an ideal insulin giving a 24 hour coverage. The half life is 25 hours. The duration of action is 42 hours. And there is absolutely no, it has a smooth profile. Now the second message is regarding hypoglycemia with Degludec. Now these are all the different studies that have been shown in this slide. The begin study is in type one diabetes where Degludec is used as a basal bolus regimen, as a basal insulin. Then the switch two is in type 2 diabetes where it has been used in both naive and uh, experienced type uh, insulin users and then there is a cardiovascular outcome trial the devote and then the real world experience. So all the trials covering more than 16,000 patients showed there is a reduction in overall hypoglycemia, nocturnal hypoglycemia and severe hypoglycemia. Now the same has been confirmed in another very large retrospective analysis in the real world series showing that there is definitely a, a significant change in the rate of hypoglycemia with Degludec and also in the number of people, proportion of people having hypoglycemia is also significantly low. So the second message is 
that Declodec has been proved in real world as well as in clinical trials to have a very consistent, a significantly consistent low hypoglycemia when compared to the other basal insulins. Well, the third aspect is about the variability. Now, the pharmacodynamic and pharmacokinetic studies of these molecules were studied using the euglycemic clamp techniques. And if you see here, you can see the blue is degludec, that is the x-axis is the time interval, and the y-axis is the proportion of area under curve of the glucose infusion rate. Now, if you see across 24 hours, you can see that the glucose infusion rate is quite constant. That is how it says that it has a better 24-hour coverage. And the same has been depicted with Glargine U300 also, that there is a definitely a lower within day variability. So in a given day, there is a def less variability and that, how, that is how it also contributes to less hypoglycemia and a 24-hour coverage. Now what about between doses? Between different days also, Degludic has been shown to have a, a low uh, variability. So the third message is that the variability of the glucose lowering effects, the variability in the absorption, all these have been significantly lower with this long acting insulin. So this is again, now CGM and Deglutic again have been studied. So with CGM what has been found is that there is a better time in range and there is a lower nocturnal time below range. So we want a improvement in time in range and we want a less time below range with CGM. And that has been showed with Degludec both in clinical trials as well as in real world evidence. So the potency, yes, the molecule is potent. The given doses are, or the basal doses are much less. And one important aspect about Degludec is the better fasting control. So if you look at the, we said there is a lower nocturnal hypoglycemic effects. So this has been achieved along with the reduction in the fasting plasma glucose across various clinical studies. And of course, the adherence of this molecule is very good. This is because it has a flexibility in dosing because of its long duration of action and long half-life. Now in summary, the insulin degludec is a 24-hour long-acting insulin a flat peakless activity profile, minimal hypoglycemic events, and of course minimal variability and good flexibility is there. Now a word about its co-formulation that is a combination of degludec with another insulin. There are two different insulins that are mixed in this that is one is degludec and the other is aspart. So this is what is called a co-formulation. Now, what is the importance of this co-formulation for us? In an Indian scenario with a diet where with there's a high carbohydrate diet, all the Indian societies uniformly said that when you initiate insulin and type 2 diabetes, it need not be a basal. You can also give a premixed insulin as an initiation. This is because you need to target not only the fasting but also the postprandial excursions because of a very high diet rich in carbohydrates. Though we say, though we mentioned about the carbohydrate intake, practically this study has proved that 60 to 70 percent of carb intake in Indians is through carbohydrate even today. So there is a need for an insulin which covers both fasting and postprandial excursions. So the postprandial excursions have to be addressed when you want to need an A1C control. It is not just fasting is not enough. Now this is the structure of the co-formulation insulin. So the green one is the degludec, which is 70% in the combination. And of course, 30% is the rapid acting insulin analog, aspart. And both have been combined together in a, single, uh, in a single syringe. So the two insulin components, they do not interact in the solution. And in the subcutaneous tissue, they still retain their individual properties. And this is what has been depicted in this particular study, again, using the euglycemic clamp study. Though both were mixed together, the, you can see that Declutec retained its plant profile and as part retained its uh, prandial coverage. Now the clinical recommendations, where do you use this insulin? 
as i already mentioned you can use it at initiation of therapy in type 2 diabetes you can use it for optimization and also for intensification of therapy in type 2 diabetes the combination is simple so that you with a one uh, device you are able to intensify the therapy so the same comparisons have been done with this molecule with compared to the basal insulins definitely this is a premixed we expect a better coverage when compared to a basal insulin alone now the quality of life and treatment adherence of this particular uh, combination again has been studied and it has been shown that there is definitely a better improvement in quality of life and treatment preference once you reduce the device to one the patient's confusion is less and it is again a simplified regimen reduction in pill burden in type 2 diabetes somebody using three oral anti diabetic drugs not achieving glycemic control this is a situation where you need to add a pre a basal or a premixed insulin so def the pill burden will definitely come down once you add insulin at this point so it can be used it as a replacement for basal bolus therapy yes definitely now in type 2 diabetes where previously where we were using three bolus and one basal insulins we do we do have a number of non insulin therapies add on to this so we we can use idec asp with given twice daily for intensification of therapy in type 2 diabetes again these are all the recommendations showing that insulin intensification with idec asp versus basal plus and a basal bolus regimen has been found to be non inferior and can be recommended for intensification now the cost effectiveness the cost of degludec really pinches all of us and uh, in people who have inadequate glycemic control in people who have hypoglycemic events the cost effectiveness of idec asp definitely is is Uh, is useful and this has been studied by the indian experts and they have shown that it is not only the cost of medication but the number of hypoglycemic events reduction and then of course the a1c control reducing hospitalization all this i have been proved that it is cost effective molecule in people who have inadequate glycemic control and hypoglycemic events well this is my last slide so the combination the co formulation is a prudent choice in the indian scenario to cover fasting postprandial a1c with lower hypoglycemic events flexibility in administration a simple regimen using a single device convenience cost and a better quality of life i thank you all for a patient hearing thank you madam thank you madam for the wonderful presentation and it's like the message is very clear from the presentations that true basal insulin the degludec which is a uh, uh, 24 hour coverage peak less and low risk of hypoglycemia and it can be used in the like co formulation is there idec asp which can be used as a initiation and which is which can be taken twice a day also wherever basal bolus in type 2 diabetes uh, patients so thank you thank you very much for the thank presentation you. madam so we will move on to the uh, next session